There is a famous equation that governs the movement of physical bodies. Embedded in the equation is a constant that sets a speed limit for all objects traveling through space and time. For humans to go beyond this limit is impossible. It would require that they harness an infinite amount of energy. However, for the superhumans, the gods, this amount of energy is trivial. It can be manifested by their will alone. And the gods are able to ride this lightning well beyond its limit, past the line of the logical, and into the absurd. You see, the thing about that equation is that it can be expressed both in the positive and the negative. Where everything gets flipped on its head, effects no longer follow causes, entropy runs backwards, the chaos tends to order, and it gives the speedsters their unique perspective. They see their consequences before their actions. They see the betrayal before their loyalty. They see their mourning before the call, death before life, and the winter before their fall. As the speedster builds momentum, they quickly run past a brutal murder. The victim is William Parks, dragged across the pavement until his face was gone. There is a streak of blood that stretches for miles. Now running in the opposite direction of time, Billy's face is lifted from the street and reassembled, mile by mile, into the shape of his head. The speedster considers forming a time loop here and now, then and again, and again. Perhaps they will run in circles here until they collapse from exhaustion, or until the end of time, whichever comes first. They think better of it, look straight ahead, and keep running. In the not too far distance, they can see the line the facade, shattered into a thousand fragments. As they approach, they forget what has already been remembered. The line reinforced by an ose. As they sprint by, the pieces are reassembled into a mighty wall. In passing, they turn their head to look back. From this side, the wall looks indestructible. They keep running. The storm is ending now. As they run faster, they approach the eye. They are afraid and confused. A flash of light, and as quickly as it ends, the storm begins, and they keep running. The further they run, the simpler their life becomes. The chaos into order. Now the tears, the widow, the funeral, the wake, the call, his brother, his life, his wife, here, he is able to see it all. The crime tape, the finish line, where it all began to go wrong, he stands just outside the scene, the lightning flowing through him, no more running, time stands still now. He is alone with his thoughts. Exhausted from the marathon, he takes deep, deliberate breaths. His muscles ache from dehydration. A chalk outline surrounds his brother's body. 
and a tear escapes his eye. It is suspended in mid-air, lost to time, as he contemplates. The electricity in his veins is slowly replaced by blood. His muscles receive oxygen again. He is calm. He must make an important decision. Break the yellow tape and keep running. Keep running to a time when he was happy, his brother alive, and he was content. Or stop here and turn around. Back the way he came. Back to face the consequences from what he has not done. He takes a deep breath and contemplates. Here he shall make his stand. Here stands August Hart. He is a man, a brother, and certainly not a god. He has done terrible things to terrible people. Nonetheless, his conscience dictates for him to turn around and account for his sins not yet done. Before the long journey back, he says his goodbye and asks for forgiveness. They execute an about face, a streak of lightning. And a tear that has been suspended in time begins its short fall to the pavement. Before it can hit, the speedster is gone, running with the grain of time and seeking some type of redemption.